If you wanted to know your Doc Martin size, this video is for you. The reason being is because today I'm going to go to the Doc Martin stores and I'm going to talk to the employees. I'm going to ask them about sizing just to know exactly what they say so that it can help you because I don't know everything, but I'm sure they're trained and they know exactly how to pick the right size. So please stay tuned and um, I'm sorry for the quality of this video, but the information in there is golden. Okay, yeah, I was trying to order them online, but I didn't know, like, which ones to get. I would always recommend to come and try them on, because we, like, always do run big. Okay. We don't have size. So, normally, like, for you, you're in a half. Yeah. I always try them when nine. Okay. What are like, because the thing is, like, you know, the Doc Martin stores, is not, like, everywhere. So yeah, this is the only one on the end area. Yeah, I know. Cause so my what, what I'm looking for when you put them on, I want your tools to lay here, not touch in the front, alright? Oh, okay. Question, with the leather, is there, like, there's a break-in period, but is there some that's more easier to break into than others? This one is the um, Jaden, so it's more of a piece of leather in the stock. Okay, and this one is like easier to break into. Yeah, usually that's the softest leather we carry. So that's okay, fun. and like what's the, like on the opposite spectrum, something that's a little bit harder for people to break into? Oh, these? Yeah. Oh, which ones are these again? Yeah, those are the Jaden. Oh, just the regular? Just the leather. Oh, the leather? Yeah, so oh. this is still the Jaden, but on the piece of leather, that's the smooth leather. That's the leather that we're known for, that structure leather that does take time. Okay. But I have the same boots, yeah. and mine are very broken in. I love my shoes. Like, so it does. Any you tips for breaking? Yeah, any yeah. tips for breaking them in, or is there? The leather condition, obviously wearing them. Okay. If you don't wear your boots, they will not break in. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. You gotta put some work into it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Then start wearing them like like a couple hours a day before you do the whole day, especially like if this is like your first like off. Yeah. Which is like so you know you don't want to kind of. I've never gotten wood for with mine. Oh wow. And I have too many pairs. Okay. Do well, I you just use the what is it, the balsamic yeah. or okay. that's the one I apply all over the shoe. I used to right now it's in the winter I like to break them in just because I put them next to the heater, you know, how to create heat and that kinda helps them kinda like soften them as well. Okay. But wearing them is a big key of breaking them in. Alright. How you like that leather and that soft one though? Uh this one, I mean A lot I of people don't like the texture leather. Yeah, because if I tie it tight, my biggest thing is like, how long am I going to get, uh, how long can I wear it for? And like you're saying, the first couple of wears probably not too long or yeah. probably like a, a walk it, around. I, I would never tell you to break in the main the way I do, but I wear them, I break them in while working. Oh. <laughs> and I don't know if you noticed, but I, we go up and down the stairs to get shoes over yeah. our stock in the basement, and that's how I end up. I okay. always make sure that I have a longer sock. Definitely not these socks, but something like a bit thicker. Okay. Like those athletic Nike socks. That's, that's the, the way I break them in and just wear them. I wouldn't do the whole day the way I do it, but it just the method that works for me. Okay. Yeah. And then since uh like Black Friday is coming, are there any sales or anything about no, to happen? No, the anything that is a black polish is price protected. Okay. So they cannot we discounted that even five cents. Oh wow. Yeah, because it's part of an icon. It's our icon too, so they would not be yeah. okay. So I have another question. So when it comes like let's say if I want to build a collection, would one size fit all or do I have to like tr if anything that's a unisex like this, you should probably be okay with the rest of the stuff. There's some models that are a cut a lot more narrow. Okay. Than others. So it's always like, kind of a hit or miss. So these are the same look. Yeah. This one has the buckle. This one runs a lot wider than this one. Okay. So it just depends on the style or sometimes the leather. It's a hit or miss. Okay. okay.